Hi everyone, this is Sensei Mark Gallagher from America Northeast Philadelphia, and this is video number one for our Junior Advanced Karate class. Today I'm gonna to focus on two of our blue belt self-defense techniques. One of them is Defensive Warrior, the other one is the Spear. And I'd like to relate a few of those moves together and show you some interesting ways to practice at home. First thing we're gonna do, Defensive Warrior. I want you to imagine a two-hand push Come out of your chest, okay? Everybody take your right leg, step backwards, double outward chopping block. Shuffle forward with three palms. One, two, three. Your back leg is gonna do an in-step kick. Your front leg is gonna do a cut kick. Let's try that together. Step backwards, double block. Shuffle forward, triple pound. Rear leg, in-step kick. And make sure on that instep kick, if it's my right leg instep kick, my right toes face the right. And front leg cup kick. One more time together. Right leg step back, double block. Shuffle forward, triple pound. Rear leg instep kick, front leg cup kick. The second technique, again, I want you to imagine that two-hand push straight at your chest. We're going to do the spear. Take right leg step forward, wedge block, double outward rip, upward elbow, and a downward claw. Again, please, team, wedge block, double outward claw, upward elbow, Downward claw. One more time. Wedge block, rip, elbow, and claw. The move I want you to focus on, I did the double outward chop. I did the double outward claw. I can piece those two combos together. I can step back. I can do a double outward block. And then I can go right in to my other technique, the spear. I can do my wedge block and go right in to my other technique, defensive warrior. That's one of the ways that Kenpo works. You have pattern A and pattern B. They may share a similar move, two hands that go out. Feel free to experiment, find some of the moves in your manual. Maybe they go in the same shape and you can piece your combos together. We could call this one defensive spear. We could call this one the warrior. Find some moves, practice. You got 15 minutes before you move on to your next video. And I know Sensei Steve and Sensei Lahai, they have some very, very interesting advanced kicking patterns for you. See you tomorrow, everybody. Tune in for video number two after 15 minutes of practice on your blue belt self-defense. Hi, Team Sensei Steve here for our junior intermediate class. And today, guys, let's have some fun. Let's work on our reverse or our rear broom sweep right into our jump spin hook kick. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Right legs in the back, my hands are up. I'm gonna spin away, so I'm doing my rear broom sweep. Turn away, drop down, stick my right leg out to the side, put it all the way around. Now, as soon as I stand up, I'm going to keep spinning the same direction for my jump spin. Okay. So, team, follow along with me. Right leg back, hands up. Oh, yeah. Let's go two times slow. I'm turning to the right. Drop nice and low. Hands on the ground so that way I don't fall. Let's take my right leg out to the side. Bring it around. Stand up. That's my rear room sweep. From here, turn around again. Look over my shoulder. Jump. Okay. Oh, yeah. One more time with me, nice and slow, team. Turn away, drop down for my rear room sweep. Hands on the floor, leg out to the side. Spin it around as I stand up. Keep spinning the same direction, same leg, jump. Spin hook kick. Oh yeah! Now team, let's do something together. Follow me guys, hands up. Oh yeah! Here's number one. Oh yeah! Here's number two. Oh yeah! Here's number three. 
Number four. Now team, with this, try not to get dizzy. Spot your target and have some fun with this. Make sure while you're at home, practice this for 15 minutes and be ready for our next video. Now team, awesome job today. Asa. Hey team, Sensei Lion here. This is the last segment in our intermediate advanced class. I'm gonna be covering the 360 hook kick. So get those legs ready, let's start kicking. Hands up, oh yeah. Now, remember for the 360 hook kick, it's not my back leg that's gonna be kicking, it's gonna be my front leg. So let's start it off slow. My back leg is gonna show it chamber. Put it down. Start turning to the right. Bring your chamber up, across. Bring it back to the fighting stance. Reset. My favorite leg is my right leg, so that's what I'm gonna start with, but I want you working both sides. So let's do something together. Hands up. Ready? One. Two. Challenge, can you make this kick airborne? Instead of stepping forward with that knee, shoot it right up to the sky. So ready, let's try one together. Hands up. Aya. Ready? Go. Aya. Team, don't forget, practice this at least for 15 more minutes. Focus on that stepping forward with the knee. Stay on the ground. And you feel like ready for a challenge? Bring it up to the air. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys later. Asa.